What's up guys? Welcome back to another video of this year with Pierce. Today I'm with one of my best friends. Yeah, I And we're going to be showing y'all one of the easiest ways to catch mold minnows in Merle Chandler at the Oyster and Recycling Center. The Oyster Recycling Center is located in Merle's Inlet on Oyster Landing Drive just off of Ocean Highway 17. At this location you can drop off your old oyster shells so that the oysters can be reintroduced into the oyster beds to ensure a healthy inlet marine habitat. If you continue down the dirt road past the shell drop off location you will find a beach where many people spend the day crabbing, fishing, and kayaking. In this video, Pierce and DeAndre will teach you exactly how to catch mud minnows, including the materials needed to catch them, the types of bait they use, as well as the optimal spots to put the trap to quickly catch the minnows. So guys, here's what we're going to do. A minnow trap, minnow bucket, quick oats, and cornmeal. So, we're using quick oats which is half, and then we're gonna use the other half of cornmeal. We're gonna add a little bit of water and turn it into a ball of dough. This is the location as to where we will be catching our mud minnows. It is a perfect location due to the muddy bottom and grassy soil lines where the mud minnows typically hang out. This is how the trap looks with all the bait balls in it. Using a minnow trap is one of the easiest ways to catch mud minnows. When the conditions are right, you can catch enough to use for weeks at a time within 30 minutes. And best of all, you do not have to throw a cast net to catch them. As far as bait goes, mud minnows aren't too picky. In this video, we are using a bait ball consisting of oatmeal and cornstarch. However, with that said, one of the best baits we have found was a Bojangles biscuit that we tore apart and put into the trap. We put out our bait traps and now we're going to wait 15 minutes to let the minnows settle in. Typically when you are trying to catch minnows, low tide is the best. However, at this location, we prefer the tide to be between one hour before high tide to one hour after high tide. The reason for this is the mud minnows at this location prefer hanging out between the mud passageways in the grass all along the bank. During high tide, the water is in the grass, which makes it easier to throw the trap without having to walk into the mud. Please note that in this video, the tide is at low tide. The water has pushed out of the grass and as a result we did not catch as many minnows as we typically do. On a typical day it is not uncommon for us to have 25 to 50 minnows in each of our traps at a time. Be sure to fill the five gallon bucket to the top with plenty of water and also use a minnow bubbler to aerate the bucket with oxygen to keep the minnows healthy and alive. And then just uh, drop the hose down in, into the water.
Be sure to watch our do-it-yourself saltwater bait tank video where Pierce and DeAndre show you how to make a saltwater bait tank where you can keep your minnows alive for weeks at a time. In this video they will show you all the materials needed to build the tank as well as the ingredients needed to make salt water to keep your minnows happy and frisky. Before you leave, be sure to check out our description page below. This page gives you a brief description of the video you are watching along with the fishing gear used during the filming of this video. Click on to the show more link to view all of this information. I want to thank you for watching our videos and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to our channel to get notifications as to when our new videos are available. Meanwhile, here are a few more videos that I think you will like.